Okay, so did you get a hit, uh, what we call the virtual work method or sometimes this is called as unit load method. Okay, so from the word itself, unit load method. So ibig sabihin, if you're trying to solve the deflection or the angle of rotation, you just need to put um, a unit load on the section where you want to find the deflection. So for example, suppose um, you have a beam here. Okay, and pananglitan, this beam is subjected to a uniformly distributed load. Um, the magnitude is, say, for example, 7 kilonewton per meter. And say the span is uh, 4 meters, pananglitan. Okay, so pananglitan, ginbibiling natin ang uh, deflection. Deflection lang eh. If you are trying to solve for the deflection at the mid-span. Okay? So, of course, um, pero may itong, we have to solve for the reaction. Uh, so, the reaction here is para ba? 7 times 4, that's 28 divide 2, that is para ba? 28 divide 2 is 14. Is that right? 14 kilonewton. It's your reaction. 14 kilonewton. Okay. So, now, uh, Naya kan dinit virtual work method. We are trying to solve for the deflection at the mid span. Okay. So naya kan virtual work method or sometimes the unit load method. Naya kan hiya. Um, you take the original beam or the given beam. Okay. So this is the given beam. And uh, magbubutang ka daw in unit load. That's why it's called unit load. Magbubutang kahin unit load kundi ni mo karoyag kuhaon and deflection. Diba? Now, for this case, we want to solve the deflection at the mid span. So, din din mo ibubutang and unit load. The magnitude of this load is 1 kilonewton. That's why it's called unit load. Diba? Unit load. Okay, now for this case, uh, this is uh, the reaction here is perabyte reaction. 1 half kilonewton. Here, this is one half kilonewton. Okay. Now, uh, kukuha o natin and iya moment. Okay. Now, there are segments, di ba? Kita, ah. And original, di, di. O salaya ka segment because uh, an iya kasi loading is o sa man la, continuous man, di ba? Uniformly distributed. So, salaya and segment. But because of the unit load, magiging duha it atin segment. Let's name the segment as ready A, Tapos adat mid span B and here C. So this A, B, C. So there are two segments. Okay. So you have their segment A, B and segment B, C. Okay. Did they, magda drawing kita hin um, table. So first time kung ako ini pag solve ngahan. Yung alimut na kan pag solve han, ano, virtual work method. Uh, na kung lalanum duman is anyan nga abbreviation. P O L M capital letter M palm. Okay. So portion of the beam, origin, limit, capital letter M and small letter M. Okay, so an portion of the beam, I'm gonna hiya and segment. Segment A B and B C. There are two segments. As an origin, it pag drawing kasi. I mean it pag construct kasi an imo moment equation, which is the M, yung capital letter M. This capital letter M here is the moment equation on the portion of the beam. Okay, ha? The moment equation of the portion of the beam. So, an yan he, an AB, an M, an BC. Capital letter M stands for the moment equation um, due to the applied load, to the original applied load. Okay, and capital letter M. And small letter M naman, this is the moment equation on the portion of the beam due to the virtual, I mean, unit load. Okay? Due to the unit load and 1 kilonewton. So, an M, actual load, and small letter M, and 1 unit load. Okay? An origin naman, di ba, naghihimukahin ko an, naghihimukahin, nagkukonstruct kahin moment equation. It imo kasi moment equation na depende kung hain an imo defined nga uh, define the origin. Later, makikita it niyo. Basta origin is just uh, in relation with the construction of the 
moment equation. And limit naman, limit. Ano ba ang portion hand beam? And AB, ano ba ito limit? Diba? From A to B. So, the limit is from 0 to 2. Diba? 0 to 2. That is if the origin is from A. Now, pananglitan ko na iya origin ada habi o iba ang iya limit. So, what I'm trying to say here, it limit na dependent origin. Okay? So, na dependent origin. Okay, let's try to solve this one. Okay. So, there are uh, two segments. Let's start with, uh, let's start here at ang, ang capital letter M ng AB. Okay. So, maram naman ka mapag-construct hand moment equation, di ba? Na ano ad to? And pag-construct, you pass a cutting plane there, taking the the left side of the segment. Uh, an emo M here, the capital letter M will be, take note, clockwise, uh, counterclockwise is the positive moment. So, we will have there 14 times X tapos minus um, 7, which is W7 times X squared over 2. Okay, so this is your M. Any question about this equation? Pare ba? Pakiana. Hello? Pare pakiana ha? Okay, so this will be your M is 14X minus 7 over 2X squared. Okay? And take note, and aton pag pag measure han x here is from point A. Tika nida point A ti pakadi didihan imo cutting plane. Right? Ibig sabihin, an imo origin didihan A, B is aada ha A. Okay? Tas an imo limit is from 0 to 0 to pera ba? To 2. Diba? Because the adama, adaman it point B ha mid span. 0 to 2 an imo limit. Okay? So didi, Mapas kagayap yung cutting plane, di dihan ka ng virtual, ang ka ng unit load. Of course, dapat pareho ang origin, pareho ang limit, and also means that the manner of, the manner, the manner how you construct the, the moment equation or the small letter M should be the same with how you constructed the moment equation for uh, the actual loads. Okay? So, taking this, ano, this segment right here, Anaton M, small letter M, will be, take note again that the direction of the moment is counterclockwise for positive. So this will be one half times X or X over two. Diba? X over two ba? X over two. Okay, so I'll put it here. Um, X over two. That's your small letter M. Now for BC, dedicated BC. Okay, so BC, you can you can take the you can pass a cutting plane there and take the left side, diba? the left side segment of BC. So that includes na from A B. Okay, you are although you are on the portion of the beam, you pass the cutting plane on the portion of the beam. Sa BC, when you when you choose to use the left side segment of that portion, that includes the 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 portion of the beam sa AB. Okay? Kung, okay, let me try to, ano. Okay, if this is the, kuan, the cutting plane, can you see my, my, ano, my cursor? If this is your cutting plane, you are taking the left side portion of the, the segment of the beam, B, okay? So, imo moment here, if that's the case, your capital letter M should always include everything to the left of this cutting plane. As an imo moment is 14x minus 7 over 2x word. Pero an imo limit, tikan la ha 2 a 4. From 2 to 4. Now your small letter M here, uh, did it an imo cutting plane? An imo small letter M will be, ano ba? Uh, x over 2 uh, minus 1 times x minus 2. 1 times x minus 2. Yes. So this will be x over 2 minus x minus x plus 2, diba? Minus x plus 2. Simplifying this further, this will be 2 minus x over 2. Do you agree? Diba? That's your small letter m. Ang small letter m, 2 yes, minus sir. x over 2. Okay. Now, uh, another scenario. 
what if what if ha? ah did, did kita focus did it original nga given what if an aton gamiton a uh, portion of to the right segment bc masugad it aton ano cutting plane segment bc it aton gin gin kikitaan tapos to the right portion so if that's the case uh for that sir na case, Chapi, sir. Chapi po. Okay. Sige. Okay. Yak-yak niyo ha para mag-stop para... Okay. So, we are, we are now using the the same cutting plane. Ah, not the same cutting plane. The same segment. Pero ang atong cutting plane is we are considering the right side of the segment from the cutting plane. So, how do we construct the moment? Okay. So, for BC, this will be... Take note that the direction of the positive moment is clock, uh, clockwise. Yes, clockwise. So your moment, capital letter M, will be, um, we have there, 14 kilonewton times X minus 7. Basically the same, diba? 7 kilonewton times X squared over 2. Basically the same. Uh, the same here because anaton kasi ginhatag nga ano, ginatag nga uh, loading is symmetric. Later, ipapakita ko gihap na for a case where the the applied loads are not symmetric. So, ini nga moment here, this moment right here, this is the moment equation on segment BC taking the right side of the right side portion from the cutting plane of segment BC. Diba? So, that you have there the 14 kilonewton multiplied by X Tapos, uh, you have there the 7 kilonewton, so 7 times x squared over 2. So this is your moment, 14x minus 7x squared over 2. But basically the same. But this time, your origin is at C, right? Your origin is point C. Your limit is still from 0 to 2. Diba? Because you are considering the right side. Okay, tas an imo small letter m naman, this will be pano by small letter m. So pakadi gihapit imo to the right side gihap. So your m small letter m will be one half times x, or that is x over two. X over two. Right? So butang name will be x over two. Okay. Now kita ah. Basically, your BC here, kita it BC. Dapat it result niya magpareho. Pero nag it small letter m, di ba? And small letter m didi is 2 minus x over 2. Tapos didi, ano yung small letter m naman didi is x over 2. Di ba? But what will happen with the result? Okay. Nayakan it ano? Nayakan it, uh, uh, it virtual work method. Nayakan the, the deflection daw. Deflection, the delta. On the point where you applied the unit load is equal to the summation of the integral of m m dx from lower limit to upper limit. Your lower limit to upper limit are this. The limits. Okay. Over EI plan. Take note. Over EI. Or uh, 1 over EI is equal to, ah, uh, the, the delta is equal to 1 over EI summation of the integral of mm dx from lower limit to the upper limit. Okay, so uh, the deflection the, here is equal to 1 over EI. EI is not given. Summation daw. So uh, for segment AB, that is the integral of 13x minus 7x squared over 2 times x over 2 dx from what the limit 0 to 2 plus batang ko din na sa integral of and bc naman that is let's use this bc lanay and usa nga bc 14 x minus 7 x squared over 2 multiplied by 2 minus x squared x over 2 pala not x squared dx from 2 to 4 What's the value at integral? I hate deflection. The result is 
70 over 3 EI. Okay? That's the result, 70 over EI. Now, what will happen if instead of using this portion, I mean this equation and BC, add it aton gamiton, add nga usang nga BC. Okay? So, let me recall the equation. I erase ko. Uh, basically, the same, di ba? Adi lang nag -iba. And small letter and So, let me erase that. Instead nga 2 minus x over 2. Ito ako ng dinig is x over 2. x over 2. And the limits, instead nga 2 to 4, ito ako ng butang dinig is 0 to 2. We should have the same answer. 70 over 3. So, the deflection is indeed 70 over 3 EI. Okay, I'm going to deflect. Sure.